Unfortunately, I can't try it out today. It's the dead of winter. Ooh, it's cold. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have our very first unboxing video. The one question that I get the most hands down is what helmet am I wearing? This is my Rurock. This is their 1.0. It's the Ronin. This is the helmet I use the most um, and it's my moto vlogging helmet. 2019, I got this. This was their 1.0 version. They have since then come out with a 2.0 version and I was actually going to order it and Rurock reached out to me and asked if they could send me one before I got a chance to. It's going to be an unbiased opinion um, of a helmet I was going to order for myself anyway. I'm really excited to open up this box and see what they sent. So you guys, as you can see, I didn't open this yet. Um, it is still... the heck's in there um hmm. I don't know what's in there something is <laughs> moving around in there this has been sitting in my house for weeks now and I haven't even opened it so you guys are gonna open it with me for the first time if you've been following me you know that I'm in upstate New York it's freezing there's snow and ice and salt and sand all over the road so i can't take this out to do a first review quite yet of actually wearing it oh i have an idea though stay tuned but uh we're gonna take this out and check it out big shout out to rurock uh for sending this Oh, sweet. We got a hat. Thanks, Rock. That's dope. Anthony's going to want that. <laughs> I'm going to hide that. Oh, we got another visor. So let me tell you something about Rurock. So they come with a clear and a dark shield. So that's a plus. A lot of helmets don't do that. You just get the clear shield and then you have to buy the other one. These come with two shields. And then they also have like different colored ones too. This is the dark shield. And then they come with this cool um, cover, which is nice. Oh, pin lock, you guys. Oh, you guys know I need this for sure. So pin lock ready. That's a big upgrade. That's awesome. Oh, it's the... <laughs> Oh, that's what leaked. The don't eat me package. Do not eat. That's what leaked. Whew. All right. So, we got a poster and that's pretty cool. So this is all the instructions and stuff on how to use everything. Cool. Those are dope. Cool stickers. Oh. Also, this other piece, before I take the helmet out, it's a helmet bag. Dude, this is like, this is really nice. Dude, this is dope. Oh, it's so soft on the inside too. That's awesome. Sweet. All right. The moment of truth. Oh guys, you have no idea how relieved I am that that was just don't eat me gel. <laughs> This feels so light. All right, guys, here it is. The Atlas 2.0.
Dude, this feels so light. I, I don't know if they made it any lighter, but like, so it's carbon fiber, so it's already super light, but wow, this feels so much lighter than my other one. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna compare the two, but that is so awesome. All right, dude, that's so dope. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. So guys, here's the deal. First they were into the snow sports, uh, then they decided to get into the moto helmet realm. Um, they put out the 1.0, which was so awesome, but what they did that is so impressive is that they took people's criticisms and suggestions and they came back with their second version using all that feedback that they got and they made those changes. And I think that that says a lot about them, that they actually took that feedback and they made the improvements that we all wanted. So really cool of Rurock to do that. Um, let me show you some of the changes that they've made. First thing is replacing the shield. You don't need the tool anymore. I actually want to change the shield to the dark one anyway. Um, so we'll do that and see how it works. But you used to need a tool for this. Oh, so here's the other thing. It clicks into place. See, it's got that pin right there. So that's gonna hold it shut, which is a huge, huge improvement because it didn't always have the best seal here on the 1.0. Wow, that's awesome. You can see the difference. This is the 1.0 and you had to use this tool. So you'd have to make sure you had this with you to unscrew it and screw it back in. And then however tight you made that was how tight, was how tight moving this would be. So you can see this doesn't, this doesn't stay clicked in. So you, you don't always get the best seal here. The 2.0, that's a big improvement. You have the emergency release on these. <laughs> don't look how dirty it is, <laughs> but look at the difference. This is the 1.0 and this is the 2.0. That's a huge difference. Here's the other thing about the Rurock that sets it apart, this Fidlock release. So this Fidlock closure, they kept that going. This is basically a magnetic closure. And all you have to do to release it is pull on that red tab. And then you just, it just clips right in. Super easy. Pull off, put on. You can totally do that with gloves on. If you don't believe that this is a good idea, uh, let me show you the strength of the magnet. So they tested it, they held up a freaking motorcycle with it. Now when I was looking for a new helmet for the winter, man, they all have D-rings. <laughs> I know you can change them, but man, I was spoiled and I did not want to go to a D-ring. I just didn't want to do it. Anthony has a showy and it's a pain when you're spoiled with this Fidlock. I want to actually test and see how light this is. So let me grab my scale. This one is Anthony's, uh, although I have stolen it a couple of times. I think this is the Fear. They have the coolest graphics on their helmets. Um, a lot of people think that I had mine painted. No, it came like that. So his doesn't have anything extra inside of it. So that'll be more apples to apples. My helmet's got, you know, all the vlogging equipment on it. So it's not a great representation. Zero it out. All right, so we're at zero. So 
Atlas 1.0, three pounds, 2.3 ounces. You guys, that's ridiculous. That is so light. 2.0. Three pounds, 3.4 ounces, okay. <laughs> it might be, I mean, there's a lot more, it feels like there's a lot more panning in here, so maybe it has something to do with that. Um, but let me try this one. So this is the showy. It does have, let me take that off. Um, it does have the switch for the Cena, Senna, I don't know how to say it. It's got the little piece for the Senna in there so that's gonna add a little extra weight probably not a ton um, but it just has this extra piece here so keep that in mind um, Wow three pounds ten point seven ounces that's a big difference especially having it on your head you know that's seven what was that seven eight ounce difference uh, half a pound almost so that's a big difference when you got something on your head like that and I guess since we have the showy we'll check out what a difference now that the Rurock is everybody always talked about how much more comfortable you know a showy is as a helmet in general but I think we have some competition now Here's the other thing that I love about the Rurock that I did not like when I tried Anthony Showy on. The field of vision, you cannot compare in the Rurock. This spot right here, there's two screws. They have um, their own Bluetooth communication system. It's called the Shockwave. And it's this piece, This basically this is like a cover. It comes off and then the shockwave slips right in and you just screw it in, the buttons would be right here. So it's like a hidden communication system, a hidden Bluetooth system. And that makes it so you don't have to mount something like the Senna on the side of your helmet like this. I did have it installed on my original Rurock, um, but then Anthony started using the showy so we decided to get Senna's because you can't use the Shockwave in the Showy. It's exclusively for Rurock. It's a pretty decent Bluetooth system. Definitely discreet and more streamlined than having this on the side. It's DOT, of course, um, but we don't really care about that. It's ECE certified also. So now for my, my only kind of, and it's not really a complaint because I guess it depends on the climate that you live in the 1.0 um, is super super ventilated so there is great airflow so if you live somewhere that's warm uh, it was definitely the best um, but the only downside to that was that um, you couldn't close the vents on the side you can only close the one in the front it got very cold the 2.0 supposedly is a lot better for for that so you again you can open and close the front vents here unfortunately i can't try it out today it's the dead of winter um but i do want to show you something now i wasn't lying when i said that i was waiting to order um to order this helmet because what I did already was I had ordered these vent plugs for the 2.0 it's these little pieces they're rubber pieces but there are four of them in here and supposedly these are to throw in the vents to close them and I'm hoping that that makes it even quieter. Who else hates doing this? Oh my gosh, are you the type of person that like leaves the sticky stuff on like electronics <laughs> forever? <laughs> Let's see if we can take this, this off. I believe you just turn 
Oh, wow. Dude, that is so easy. Wow. Dude, that's easy, man. These just come right off. And you can't really mess this up because there's only, there's a slot that these slide into. I probably could. I don't want to test that theory. Dude, that was so easy. <laughs> I mean, for the price of what you're getting here, I think it's well worth it. Um, especially with all of the things that they changed. Man, I mean, that says a lot for them that they can take the feedback from their users to improve it for the next version and they did it so quickly it's carbon fiber um they have a ton of different designs um i ordered i have a little bit of a problem so they came out with a gloss carbon fiber design and i kind of ordered that one too <laughs> so um it hasn't shipped yet but once it ships i will definitely show it to you guys I guess I should probably try it on, huh? Oh, wow. So this feels like this, wow. This feels like the showy now, like the, they changed. I know they made some changes, um, especially to the padding, but it stays in place. It feels so much more premium. Like it's just the padding. It feels so much better. It's like, I don't want to say beefier, but it's more, it's just so much more comfortable. Wow. I want to look at this again. So on the, uh, and I got to tell you, I have a little bit of a gonzo problem. So, um, I got called gonzo a lot. <laughs> <laughs> for my nose um but the and i've heard a couple other people say this too on the 1.0 this piece actually would hit my nose um and you've probably if you looked really close you've probably noticed it in some videos it actually would hit this um <laughs> i just thought it was because i had a big nose but uh this isn't hitting it anymore so i don't know if it's just the position with the padding or the shape is a little bit different but that's awesome because i always used to have to move i always used to have to move the helmet and just like an, the initial like at this point with the 1.0 it would be a little tight until you pulled it all the way down but wow this is so comfortable this is totally different. Wow. Okay. Let me compare. I need to compare. So this is the 1.0. Yeah. See like right here, it's tight and it's not like cushiony tight. It's, it's almost like it's more narrow right here. And then you pull it on and then it gets, Oh God, this sticks. Yeah. My nose is, is right up against this. And it's not like that in the other one. I think they made some really awesome changes in this. Okay guys, uh, here's my bright idea. Since I can't go out on the bike, I'm just gonna, uh, we're gonna try it in the car. <laughs> My hands were frozen just for those couple minutes, but uh, 
I didn't feel that wind flow in my helmet like uh, like the 1.0. I'm excited to try those vent plugs on the bike. Let's get back in the house. Let me know how you like the new helmet and stay tuned for some warmer weather. Um, I will 100% do a review on this. This is probably gonna be my new moto vlogging helmet. Of course I can never, I can never get rid of this one, but I'm definitely going to be using this to try it out once the weather gets a little better. But so far, I mean, I'm so impressed with it. Now that being said, I'm gonna have to wire this thing up um, for moto vlogging. So if you guys are interested in a video on my setup, let me know in the comments. I've had a lot of people ask me about my setup and uh, so if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments and I will record um, my moto vlog setup. It's really basic. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do all the things, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post new content. Until next time guys, you ride safe and I'll catch you on the next one.